Oh man, the things that I love to wake up to. Good morning, guys, or should I say good afternoon, because it is 2 p.m. in the afternoon here in Vancouver, and I just woke up. But we have some news to talk about. It is Eric Goodbranson. Man... We've been chronicling the recent Eric Goodbranson trades because Eric Goodbranson is a guy whom is very notable in my heart as a hockey fan. I'll just say that. But the Ottawa Senators have just made themselves a trade with the Anaheim Ducks, sending over a 2021 fifth round pick in exchange for Eric Goodbranson. Now, I know that I'm a guy who said that the Senators had cap space and the Senators had the opportunity to use that cap space to get better in the short term. But I didn't really envision them being a team that would use that cap space to trade for an Eric Branson who is making $4 million until 2021. But as I said earlier, we have been covering all of the Good Branson trades. I'm pretty sure Good Branson is the only player who has been traded twice, whom we've actually made videos for every single trade that has gone down. Back when he was acquired by the Vancouver Canucks from the Florida Panthers, all the way back in 2016, we made a video about that. Then when he was traded over to Pittsburgh in exchange for Tanner Pearson, we made a video about that, and then he was traded over to Anaheim, we made a video about that, and now he is traded to Ottawa, we're making a video about that. Sens fans, what you're getting with Erica Branson is honestly a guy whom... When he was with Vancouver, he was just bad. I'm straight up just not even going to deny it. He was not great. Turnover machine in his own zone. He just kind of played with the puck like it was a hot potato. He just wanted to get it off of his stick as quickly as possible. And if that meant throwing it off into the opposition and giving it to the opponent, then hey, he would do it. His pairing with, oh my goodness, Hutton, Ben Hutton and Good Branson, that was a terrible pairing. And it was really the epitome, the defining trait of the dark times of the Vancouver Canucks from 2016 all the way up to 2019. But Good Branson, since then, got traded over to Pittsburgh, and apparently he wasn't that bad. Like, he was okay with the Penguins. Tanner Pearson, of course, coming back to Vancouver, was the glorious prize that we saw out of that trade because the guy was a very legitimate offensive contributor but then Good Branson got traded again to Anaheim, and in Anaheim, he was actually able to do quite well, nine points in 44 games played, a career high ever since playing with the Florida Panthers, especially in the goal category. He had four goals last year with the Ducks, which is absolutely incredible because the guy just doesn't know how to score goals. Okay, I mean, that's probably a bit too harsh. Maybe he does know how to score goals, he just doesn't really choose to. He is more of a physical, stay-at-home defenseman, a guy whom, on paper, is supposed to be able to body guys off and make some big hits. He doesn't really do that. He kind of just stays there, waits for the opportunity to come to him. Once he gets the puck, he kind of tries to get it out. But good Branson, to me, as he's developed from his days in Vancouver, he's always been a good guy in the room. I remember when he was acquired by Vancouver in the first place, a lot of Florida Panthers fans were actually upset. They were saying things like, oh, this guy was going to be our next captain. Vancouver, treat this guy well, all that stuff, because back when he was traded to Vancouver, he was like 24 or something. But now he's 28, so he's in a position where he's a lot older, he's a lot more veteran-like in the locker room, and he's going over to a Sends team to help them out in the short term because he's got one year left on his contract. So talk to me in the comments what you think about this whole idea, this trade here, Social the Trolls 99. And bye.